what we can do is we can just uh, create a new campaign. We'll just do conversions. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to skip all this and come back to it in a minute. Okay. After we, we're just going to go straight to the ad so we can work on that. So that main ad you had earlier was which image? This one? Um, yeah, it could be that one or this other one here. Like these are two different names for the class. I found that the class did better when I used the learn to take better photos name. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. If you, yeah. Always use the stuff that you know worked, you okay. know, so whichever one, you know, is already the one that converted better just select that one. Okay. So that one. Do you ever change anything like this? Nope. nope. Okay. Because it turns it dynamic. Okay. Sweet. And then the copy, if we want to, what we'll do is we'll just hit duplicate. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go find that other piece of copy. That was the one that was converting really well. And then we'll tweak okay. it a bit to make it a little bit better. And I was going to ask, how important is that copy? I see some people read, run ads with just like one line. So it, it's important that you have a uh, copy that converts. And in cases like these where you're getting people to opt in and you know go through a webinar to buy your class, you want longer form copy. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we just gotta find that ad copy that was working back in July, which should be one of these down here, right? Mm -hmm. Learn to take better photos, was that the one? It should be, yeah, I might. What could have been any of the ones that indicate better photos? That should be one. That didn't look like it, was it? No. I also don't duplicate, so some ad sets do better than others. This looks like it. This one? Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, so we'll just copy this. And then what we're going to do is, are they, are they still at the same times and everything's still the same here? Yeah, everything is still the same. The link is different. I, I can give you the link. Wait a second. What is this one? Is this a different one? Mm -hmm. The link is different. The text, I think, is different on these. We'll add in the description. Then what we're going to do is, do you know what the link is? Mm -hmm. If you can pull in the link, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. You can go find the link. Yeah, I, it's literally, it's jordanari.com slash webinar. So it's a quick type. Perfect. Uh, you mind doing that up here? Awesome. I see. Okay, that makes sense. So anytime you have a photo here, mm -hmm. like this, if it's identical to the one you're running in the ad, the conversions are always going to be higher. Gotcha. Okay. Which is why that makes you know sense that you saw that. Because mm -hmm. I have one where I do like a video too. Like I have a video talking. Yeah. Can you pe press the enter button here to move it down? I don't have keyboard control. Yeah. Is that letting me enter? That's so weird. That, okay, maybe it's just, maybe it's both of us. Hmm. I'll try one thing. Oh, sorry. Here, let's put in the primary text. Oh, that's one. There it is. 
There we go. Okay, now we can just get rid of. Oops, I didn't need to. Cool, then we'll remove this description here. And then for the headline. I'll change that. That I had one time I did it differently. Previous one, you had photography. Okay, can you copy that exact thing and then type that out here? And then just don't use the sign up part because you already have the sign up button that we're going to do. What did it say? Photography MPA. Webinar. Yeah, that's perfect. And then for the description, we'll do that in a second. We're gonna do the learn, we're gonna do the sign up as well. And then for your description, we have one extra line this go around since we removed that other mm -hmm. um, piece. So maybe the second bar, the second one. Um, Which one? Okay, that's fine. Whatever you think, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, which information do you think is important that uh, a person would? Uh... I was. Um, I was thinking like something like the three biggest mistakes, or like how to identify best and worst lighting scenarios. Mm -hmm. um, we're only going to be able to see about four words. Okay. Uh, it could be something big... like yeah. There you go. Three biggest mistakes. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Biggest mistakes mm -hmm. photographers make. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Then go ahead and add that in. Mm -hmm. I mean, this. I'm going to. Wonderful. Yep. And then if we also see if we can just capitalize the M, P, and M again. Okay. Because that makes it a little bit better. And if it goes over, it goes over and we'll just go back. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. So there we go. There's this ad here. And then essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to take the this text here, copy, and then we're just going to name it the exact same. So that way it's easy on the eye moving forward uh, over okay. here. You'll know exactly what the title of it is. Okay. And then the only other thing we're going to do is we need to change this pixel to the one. client's one. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have to switch the IDs over. Okay. Uh, once you do that. Yeah. So we won't turn these on. We'll just. No. We're going to leave those in draft for now. And then like for the audience, like one of the things is, is that it looked like your current, uh, it was your current list you had. Did you have a list? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was watching your YouTube videos trying to make audiences getting frustrated, needing help. Mm. So that's what you see those two up at the top. Okay, so what list is, um, do you have a list that would make sense to retarget? Um, the email list. Are there anybody that you'd want to retarget? Pardon me? Is there anyone you would want to retarget to bring in that didn't convert? Um, my, the people who signed up for the webinar but didn't purchase. Perfect. Yeah, yeah we could do that. But I would think it would be a different piece of ad content um, just because they've already seen the webinar or mm -hmm. already had access to the replay. Wonderful. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, that would be a retargeting audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then for this, it could be focused on, you know, new individuals, right? Mm -hmm. So for the lookalikes, it could be based off of anybody who's actually already purchased from you. How large is your purchase customer list? Um, it's like 80 people. Okay. 
So I don't, what does that number need to be in order to create a lookalike audience? Uh, definitely more than hundred. Okay. So what's the next best we could go off of? So my email list has like 3,500 people, but. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Let's do your email list. Is that here recently updated? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any way we could get you that just, in here? Um, yeah, we only read only way now I know how to do it is like from active campaign is just export that list of people. Yeah. So that's yeah. So since you have active campaign, one will export it, but eventually what we would do is it with active campaign, we'd automate it to where it automatically sends. So that way it saves you time and sends the some better data. Okay. So I'll have to show you how that workflow works um, later on. But essentially, you're going to add the audience here, right? And then the main thing is, is that uh, once we do that, we're going to want to create a couple more lookalikes to focus on. We're going to need another ad, more than just one, right? Mm -hmm. um, this one's good, but we want a, a few additional. And then we want to move the pixels, all of your pixels onto this one site. Uh, mm -hmm. Keep your images consistent because this is really good content. You have great content. There's no worry there. Uh, mm -hmm. This looks like a double entry. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, I had more in there before. Okay, That's maybe it. just remove one of these. Mm -hmm. um, and then outside of that, on your webinar, I haven't looked at that page, but um, how's that workflow go? They go to the webinar, then what? They're offered to purchase? So, yeah, so the webinar, the way it works is they just get an email whenever it's time, like, they get a reminder the morning of, and then 15 minutes before they click the link, um, and then they can just go and join. Um, Cause that previously I've done it through Zoom, but with the intent to do ever webinar, I would begin doing it through Webinar Jam. Um, so that's the way it works right now. And then after the webinar, they get emailed reminder. So I have an email flow. Perfect, so we'd want retargeting going to get people to purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, we would wanna have ads for that. And we'd want to have ads for people who missed the webinar. Mm -hmm. We'd want to have people who, uh, uh, do you have multiple payment plans or? I have two payment plans. Do you have I upsells have... even afterwards? Um, what do you know? I don't, okay. I don't know. So perfect. So we just have two sets of retargeting going to get people who signed up, who didn't attend. And then people who did attend and didn't sign up for the actual um, purchase. Right. Mm -hmm. So that way we could get a lot of purchases. Um, so that would be good.